Hello YouTube, I am back again, and today we have uh, another OTK deck, and today it revolves around this card, Vision Hero Trinity, and uh, the purpose of this deck is to you summon Vision Hero Trinity, and what this card does is, uh, when it's fusion summoned, it can attack three times that battle phase, its attack is doubled for that turn, but it can't attack your opponent's life points directly. So this, if you're one of the two people who've watched most of the videos I've posted, you should know about my Roid OTK, where you use Barbaroid, the ultimate machine lord, machine lord, machine, something, Barbaroid, and uh, OTK in your opponent with that card. Uh, the problem here is uh, it's not nearly as strong as Barbaroid. So, uh, to kind of compensate, we also run this card called Half Shut. What you do is you select a face up monster on the field. That monster cannot be destroyed by battle this turn, but its attack is halved. So, this way, instead of, say, my Roids, where you need to assemble five cards, well, you need to assemble six cards, just five of any Roid and Power Bond, and just attack into one of your opponent's monsters, it's pretty much game. With this, well, you only need to gather five cards rather than the six. And that's just half shut. Three of any hero, because this card just takes three of any hero. So Destiny Hero, Masked Hero, any of that. And uh, Fusion Gate, just something to fuse them together as a Fusion Gate. And, but, uh, now that you kind of know what the deck does, let's get onto the deck profile and a uh, bit of explanation. So first off, it's a hero deck. We run Stratos. And Stratos is a pretty good in this deck, not only because Stratos is a good card in general, but Stratos plus the card it searches out, you already have two of the three heroes you need to make a vision hero, so pretty good. And then there are probably a thousand different engines I can run after the main deck. I'm probably going to talk a little more about it. But I run the three of each normal summonable elemental hero. Uh, so pretty much all of them except, uh, what's it called, uh, Neos. Something that's normal, summonable without tributes. So Clayman, uh, Sparkman, Burstina Tricks, and Avion. And let's skip over, and the reason I do this is because I run Heart of the Underdog. And the idea with this card is that it lets you get to your combo pieces, as well as stacking up multiple monsters in hand. Uh, there's another few other engines I've been thinking about, but this is the only one I've tested. And then I run two hero lives because it's pretty much just drawn into one of these. Or if Stratos is still in your deck, you can get that. And then I run three half shuts. You'd be surprised how hard it is to get this card in your hand compared to Fusion Gate. And of course, I run Fusion Gate over Polymerization. Because uh, Polymerization is one-time use, Fusion Gate is either player can use it. Plus, uh, say you're not drawing into half shut or you want to beat out some back row first, Fusion Gate will let you go into another hero, try to bait some out, have shenanigans happen. Then you can go for your OTK or just try to beat them down with fusions. And then, uh, let's see... Two terraforming, it automatically gets your fusion gate to your hand. We run something similar for half shut, but it's not nearly as efficient. And uh, it's an OTK deck, so three MST along with heavy, dark hole, monster born. Three upstarts because at the end of the day, you don't care how many life points your opponent has. Because let's say your opponent has uh, what's something with. Let's say, uh, what's something with 4,000 attack? Uh, I want to say, let's say Obelisk, even though that wouldn't work because Obelisk can't be targeted. But you half shut something with 4,000 attack, say Obel Obelisk. And then you uh, go into Vision Hero Trinity. Uh, Trinity attacks Obelisk th with, ha with halved attack three times. So... Obelisk is at 2,000, Trinity is at 5,000, so they have to take 3,000 per attack. So attack, attacking into a 4,000 monster three times is enough to do 9,000 damage. 
and more than likely are going to be attacking to something like a Caius, a Symphony to Jin, or a Lagia with no material or something. Something like that. Two duality, get to your search stuff, one day of peace. And you may probably not know what this card is, but it's called Quick Boost. So let me read it to you if you don't know what the card does. You target a quick play spell in your grave, and you shuffle that card back into your deck. But this card also has another effect. When this card you control is destroyed by opponent card effect and sent to the grave, you can add one quick play spell from your deck to your hand. So you can activate this card, recycle MST, or maybe get another half shot in there, put it back in your deck. And if this card is destroyed, say your opponent blind MSTs it, you get half shut to your hand. Because more often than not, I've lost several games I should have won with using the OTK just because I didn't see half shut. Like, I would have less than 20 cards in my deck left. I would have three future fu fu fusion gates in hand, but no half shut, and it just bothered me. So before I get on to the extra deck, I feel that you could run this deck, like, modify this deck into just standard uh, fusion gate heroes. And uh, just play standard fusion gates, like, f or fusion heroes, fusion gate heroes like you would, except for, you know, you run one or two half shuts, and you have a trinity in your extra deck just for the possibility of the OTK. Well, you just play standard vi or uh, fusion gate heroes. So instead of running these normals, you run things like Alias, Bubble Man, uh, I forget, uh, the, and just other things you run. I can't remember what they're called right now in standard fusion gate. Plus that you could run traps and not have to worry about all this searching. Or there's other things you can run like the D hero engine where you pitch drop using trade-ins and uh, destiny draws so that's another possibility but uh, onto the extra deck we are on two trinity just in case like one gets bottomless adortion I believe it's called I don't really care what its effect is it's just it can be made with two of any hero and it is 28 attack so it's it's not bad and then for the kind of abstract hero, elemental heroes that require two specific ones. Rampart Blaster, just because it can attack your opponent's, direct, opponent's life points directly when it's in defense, and I think that's kind of funny. And Flame Wingman, just because of how iconic he is. And then out of the monsters you should be pulling out more often. Ab Zero, you can't really make him this deck without monster borning something your opponent controls or taking control of it somehow. But I just turned it in there just for that possibility. Maybe if you do modify this deck, but you don't store it, don't run any water, store on him because you can super polys and all that jazz. To a Nova Master, this card is pretty good for what you're wanting to do in the deck when it comes to searching, because it destroys a monster, you draw a card. Esquir Esquirido, the Spanish one, whatever it's called. You don't run any darks, but of course you do run Monster Born, and there's always those situations. Two Shining, because even when Shining gets destroyed, you can add uh, the stuff you fusioned with it back to your hand, so you don't really neg, and you can all you can always just sit there until you're ready to OTK. Uh, and then Guy and Great Tornado, just for their situational stuff. And then Levier, and Power Pearl Operative. Power Pearl Operative kind of... There's always that chance that your opponent will just have a set defense monster. And you're in the position to make Power Pearl Operative flip up OTK. And Levier just to return the stuff you've banished back. That's the deck profile. Thank you for watching. As I said in the middle of the video, just playing standard fusion or standard fusion gate heroes. But running this OTK might work. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really read up on my hero. But thank you for watching. Please uh, like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. But please tell me why you didn't like the video if you dislike it. And uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, all that good stuff. But thank you and goodbye.